Jan Zahradil is the vice chairman of the European Conservatives and Reformists Group in the European Parliament. He was born on the 30th of March in 1963 in the Czech Republic. Mr. Zahradil graduated from the Institute of Chemical Technology in Prague. He is married, has two children, speaks English, Russian, German and Polish. I somehow dropped or jumped uh, to the politics after the Velvet Revolution, after the fall of the Soviet Empire and fall of the communist rule in former Czechoslovakia. I became a member of the so-called Civic Forum and then I joined the Civic Democratic Party in 1991. I worked for party headquarters, then I worked for then Prime Minister and party leader Mr. Klaus as his foreign policy advisor. And in 1998, I was firstly elected to the Czech Parliament, to the Czech Chamber of Deputies. And I served as a member of the Foreign Affairs Committee. I dealt uh, mostly with the European Affairs. I was also a member of the European Affairs Committee. And then I was nominated a Czech representative to so-called Convention on the Future of Europe. And in 2004, I ran for the first time as a leader of the candidate list of my party to the European Parliament. And we won, and we won decisively. So there was no reason why not to repeat that this year. And I again was reappointed as a leader of ODS candidate list for, uh, for uh, next parliamentary, Euro parliamentary elections. And we again won, and we achieved the very same result as in 2004, even better uh, when it comes to counting of votes, uh, which is uh, rather unique. So uh, that's my political career in a nutshell. As we said, Jan Zahradil is the vice chairman of the European Conservatives and Reformists Group in the European Parliament. He is very proud of the ECR. The ECR is centre-right, democratic, mainstream and non-federalist platform that will promote other idea about European architecture than uh, current dominant forces like European Christian Democrats or European Socialists. This is very challenging and demanding job. Uh, we have to spread our activities even to those countries that are not yet members of the European Union and I hope that we'll be successful in promoting our uh, non-federalist agenda as an alternative to what is now being predominant in European institutions and European political circles. So there's a lot of work ahead of us and I'm looking forward to it. In his free time, Mr. Zahradil loves meeting people, traveling and listening to music. He especially adores African music and he admires the African culture. To live in Brussels offers a, a lot of op cultural opportunities. It's a very colorful city. Uh, full of ethnic minorities from Africa, Asia and elsewhere and therefore people who are fans of that kind of music, I mean world music, can find a lot of venues where they can enjoy uh, this type of culture. And not only this, we, we used uh, the opportunity of, of Czech presidents of the European Union to bring also some of this music uh, back home uh, to Prague. Uh, we succeeded to organize one concert of, of one group you can, can see here. So enjoy the evening and uh, thank you for coming again. want to help to these countries, you also have to know them, to learn about their lifestyle, about their culture, about their customs, and music is indispensable and inseparable part of uh, life of ordinary people in Africa, so it's, it's good to know that. I firmly hope and believe that Europe will not continue the way to some quasi-state structure or super-state structure and that in the future we'll be facing much more flexible European architecture. Uh, such a type of European architecture or integration scheme where countries will be allowed to integrate themselves or to cooperate to various degrees 
according their own wishes and according their own preferences. I do not share the view that one size fits all. I do not share the view that uh, what is big is beautiful. And I do not share the view that we should build ever closer union. I think we've got enough, we achieved enough, and we rather concentrate ourselves for better efficiency uh, of uh, the European Union than on further concentration of power on European level. So my idea of European Union is a flexible, if you want, multi-speed European Union. And this is also the goal our group, the ECR group, will be promoting. Mm -hmm.